In this video, I'm gonna show you three ways to shoot a great headshot in a tight space. Hey everyone, my name is Tommy Reynolds. Welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you three ways that I shoot headshots, even in the tightest space. Now let's start with the camera. I'm using a Canon 5D Mark III. This is my workhorse, and the lens I'm gonna to use today is the Sigma 85mm 1.4 Art. Great one for headshots, between 85 and I would say 200 millimeters are great focal lengths for headshots. So let's jump straight into the first setup, which is the clamshell lighting. Now I'm pleased to welcome back my really good friend, Samantha Dorrance for the shoot. She was also in my five ways to use one softbox. If you haven't already seen that, then click the link up there and go and check that out now. Uh, but for this setup, it's very similar to one of the setups from that video, but we're using slightly different modifiers. So for the first setup, I used a 55 centimeter beauty dish by Pixapro. I didn't worry about having the grid on or the sock on, I just had it bare as it comes with the dish attached. And that was on a Pixapro City 600 flash with an overhead boom pole. For the fill light, I used a Pika 200 portable flash. These little guys are great, they're awesome. I use them when I'm abroad or when I'm in the studio for fill lights. You can even use them for key lights, um, but for this setup, I used it as my fill. And for the modifier itself, I use Pixapro's brand new 65 centimeter open umbrella. This is a really cool modifier. It's it's kind of like a parabolic shape, but it's uh, you can put double diffusion in as well. So two layers of diffusion, which I did use in this setup so that I could get um, the softest light possible from this softbox. So the reason why I put it down here underneath is I wanted to fill in some of the shadows. So the light that is being produced by the 55 centimeter beauty dish up here is going to cast some shadows underneath. So to eliminate that, I had a modifier down here shining up at Samantha. Now I didn't position the modifier towards her face, up at her face, I actually had it more positioned towards her chest so that the light would feather upwards so that it would be an even softer light. So this is a really great tip if you wanna try and get rid of those shadows underneath the eyes and the nose and stuff. So using the second light to balance that out is a really cool way of doing it. And what is great about having a second light as your fill light is you can control those shadows exactly how you want. You could, if you wanted to, raise it a little bit higher, the power, so you have even less shadows. Um, but for me, I like to keep it around two stops underneath my key light. To determine exactly the right ratio, I do use a light meter. Now this is optional, you don't have to. But if you do wanna learn more about using a light meter, then click the link up there and you'll find three reasons why you should use a light meter. But if you don't wanna use that, then just keep dialing the power up and down so that it looks good to your eye. The second setup is using only one light, but we are using a reflector. For this one, I use a different modifier. For this one, I use a Pixapro 150 centimeter easy open softbox. But what we're gonna do is, instead of having it overhead now, we're now gonna move it so that it's about 45 degrees this way. And we're gonna use a reflector as well, and that's gonna be coming 45 degrees, but underneath. So it's kind of like clamshell lighting, but we're kind of doing this, if that makes sense. Now what I love about this is it's only one light and a reflector with a reflector arm. So I don't wanna ask the model to have to hold the reflector. I want them to be able to do their own thing. And the reflector arms are really cheap and they just attach to a normal light stand. And what I love about this modifier, this 150 centimeter softbox, is it recreates natural light. It almost looks like window light. And that coupled with a reflector here makes it look as if two flashes were used. There were two lights in the room when technically there was only one light. And in case you're wondering, yes, I do have a big open window next to me, but just to prove that the ambient light isn't affecting my scene, here is an image with all the lights switched off. So you can see with this one softbox and this one reflector, it's almost recreating that beautiful window light look. So for the third and final setup, uh, we're gonna call this the ring light headshot. For this, I used a Pixapro Ricoh 240 ring light, which is awesome, it's a continuous ring light. And for the second light, which is my fill light, it's gonna be positioned directly behind me. And the modifier is the same one as the last one. It's again, 
the 150 centimeter softbox, but this is now positioned directly behind me, shooting through me, through the ring light, and then hitting my model. Now, if you're wondering, isn't that gonna cast a big shadow on Sam or, or from me and from the light? No, it's not gonna cast a shadow because that light is so close to me and it's so soft that you're not gonna get that effect. If it was a really hard light, then yes, you might get a shadow, but because this light is so soft, so big, and I am so close to it, you're not going to see a shadow, so don't worry about that at all. This again is a great setup. As I said, it gives a beautiful catch light to the eyes, and that softbox behind me just fills in uh, the rest of the wall, makes it look really nice, and it matches the continuous light at the front. So that's the third and final setup. If you wanna know any products, anything I've used in this episode, then I will leave all the links in the description below so you can check them out and find out everything I used in each setup. Well, thanks ever so much for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, then please make sure you hit the like or share button or subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you can stay up to date every time I upload a new video. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers, guys, bye-bye.